Alright guys, how's it going? Um, time for my week 5 picks. 34 and 28 so far this season, and that's, you know, that's not good. I'm not happy with that. I, I gotta pick it up, I gotta bulk up my repertoire with some better picks this week. It's not horrible or anything, because um, the guys on ESPN and Sports Illustrated really don't do that much better on a regular basis, but I gotta pick it up. I gotta um, <clears throat> just start making more correct calls. We'll see how week five goes, but before I start my picks, last night I was surfing around ESPN and I heard Travis Henry got busted with marijuana, could be suspended for a full season, and um, ow, um, you know, this frustrates me because I, I think Denver's a good team, if they can find a way to patch up their run defense, I think they're going to win that division and possibly win a playoff game or two. So it's frustrating for me because Travis Henry was is a good player and he was on pace to have such a great year. And if he's out for the season, I don't know. I don't know, but the Broncos season could season could very well be shot. And lo and behold, the Oakland Raiders will win that division. I'm going to put them right above the Kansas City Chiefs right now. But that could change pretty easily, actually. Those are two teams I thought would be terrible coming into this season, but... Somehow they're right there. We'll see what happens with Travis Henry. Um, okay, my picks. I got New England over Cleveland. Um, you know, pretty self-explanatory. You got New England at home against an obviously inferior team. You know, Cleveland's got some talent this year, and they're going to win some games. They got good coaching. They got passion, and they got talent in the right spots. They could get second in that division. I don't think it's a playoff team, but... Um, it, it's going to be New England winning big, I think. Um, his next game, wow. Um, you know, my team taking on, going, going to Pittsburgh. It's a, advertised as a rematch of Super Bowl Forty. Um, and, you know, these teams are right next to each other. You got Seattle. We lost to Arizona. We uh, blew out the 49ers by 20 points. And Pittsburgh did the exact same thing. They lost to Arizona, and they beat the 49ers by... 20 points, I think, somewhere around there, so, you know, these teams, they're like mirror images of each other, and, um, Pittsburgh was at home, so, you know, I, I'm being honest here, I'm not lying or anything, trying to make myself look better, but before the week started, like, after the 49ers game, I was gonna pick Pittsburgh, because they're at home, and they've got good home field advantage, and we're a little weak when we go out to the, uh, East Coast to play football, and I swear, that's what I was gonna do, but... But, then I see the injury report um, for this week. Heinz Ward has been declared out. He's um, a very important part of that offense. He's their second best receiver, probably. Maybe better than Holmes. Maybe Holmes is a little too young for me to pass judgment on. But, you know, he's right there with Holmes. Plus, he's a great downfield blocker and, you know, a really important part. And now... Here's the backbreaker. That defense could be missing Troy Polamalu. Actually, it's probably missing Troy Polamalu and could miss Casey Hampton. Over the last several years, no team has been better against the run than Pittsburgh. Um, the big reason for that is the nose tackle Casey Hampton and the strong safety who loves to play in the box, um, Troy Polamalu. So if they're missing those two players, their run defense takes a hit. <coughs> Um, and so when I look at those three very serious key injuries and, you know, I step into the mind of Mike Tomlin and I'm thinking, this is a game against a team in the other conference. It's right before our bye week. Um, we don't have to really worry about them because, you know, they're not in our division or conference or anything. So if... He, if it's any sort of a question with uh, Paul Amalu or Hampton, I think he would sit them out just because it's not worth the risk of a serious injury. And um, so, um, you know, our injuries aren't nearly as serious, so I'm going to take us. It, it wouldn't surprise me to see it go either way because, like I said, these teams are mirror images of each other so far this season. Now, um, Pittsburgh's been running the ball better. We've probably been passing it a little better, you know, but the differences are negligible. These teams are very similar right now. But I think we can take advantage of where they are banged up right now and come out with the win. 
Um, going to be a good game, though. I got Tennessee over Atlanta. Not buying into the whole Atlanta rejuvenation thing. And I'm starting to buy into Tennessee, something I never thought I would do this season. But, you know, Vince is just playing some good football. That defense is stepping it up without Pac-Man Jones, something I thought would never happen in a million years. So I'll take Tennessee. Um, here's a little upset. I got Jacksonville taking out Kansas City. I, I have a lot of faith in the Jacksonville run defense to shut down Larry Johnson again and put pressure on Heward. Um, I think Rasheen Mathis is going to get a pick or two. I really do like Rasheen. I hope he has another great season. Um, and um, that Kansas City defense is pretty good, but I think they can be run on, so... Uh, Fred Taylor and Mojo, I think, are going to get back on track. I got the Giants over the Jets. It became apparent to me after last week the Jets are just not that good of a team. I don't know if they can gather it together, but um, the Giants... Well, this isn't really a home game or away game for either team for obvious reasons, but I think the Giants... You know, you've got the good Giants and the bad Giants. It, it, it's really hard to predict which one's going to show up any given week, but... Right now, that Jets defense is terrible, so I see the Giants having a good game offensively. Um, and the Jets' offensive line has been pretty poor, so that pass rush, which found its groove last week against the Philly uh, against Philadelphia, should get in on Pennington a few times. Uh, Washington and Detroit. I was wavering on this pick. Originally, I had Detroit, but then I thought, Washington's coming off that bye. Um, and is coming off a tough emotional loss. Detroit's coming off a tough emotional win. So I went with Washington. Plus, I don't, I'm not buying into that Detroit defense yet. I think Portis is going to have a good game. Uh, what else do we have here? I think some people are jumping onto Arizona a little too quickly. You know, people say, oh, they're this close to being 4-0. and Well, they're this close to being 0-4. It goes both ways. That being said, uh, they're going to St. Louis this week. Gus Farratt, out. Steven Jackson, out. At least, um, I'm pretty sure. And, you know, Rams are just a really beat-up group right now. I think Arizona should be able to take it. Just control the ball on the ground. Ground, and uh, the defense should be able to come up with a couple of good plays. Let's see. Uh, I got Carolina taking out New Orleans. I still think this Carolina team can be all right. I do not trust David Carr, but I think that defense is due for a good showing, and New Orleans is the right team to get it done against. Peppers, Julius, make me proud. You haven't done anything this season. Let's see some playmaking. I'll take Houston over Miami. Um, I, I, maybe we, maybe, it's like I said last week, maybe Houston is a little overrated, but I'd still take the, but I'd still take them over Miami. Miami might just be the worst team in the league this year. I do like Ronnie Brown, but that team is horrible. I got a chance to see him against Oakland, and oh my god. Uh, I'm going to take Indy over Tampa, and I know Indy's banged up. Tampa should make this a game, but I look at the left side of the Tampa Bay line. I see some undrafted second-year player who's never really played before starting, and I see Dwight Freeney lining up on the other side of him, and I think, you know, Jeff Garcia is going to get this, get the crap beat out of him. Freeney's going to have a huge day because, you know, you got Pettigrew out. Their best running back is out, so the threat of running the ball isn't there as much as it usually is. And you still got Peyton Manning, so I think that the um, Colts come out with that one. I got Denver over San Diego. It was a tough pick for me, but Travis Henry's still going to play. I'm sick of betting on this San Diego team. I, I've i lost whatever res faith I had in North Turner turning this around. I'm taking Denver. I think Jay Cutler is a big day. Um, I'm taking Baltimore over San Francisco. I hate this game. Baltimore's a little better. San Francisco's at home. But I'm going with Baltimore because I think McGahee's going to have a real good game. And Trent Dilfer is not ready for that defense. Even if it isn't what it used to be, Trent Dilfer is not ready for it. I'm taking Green Bay over Chicago. It's in Green Bay. Uh, I don't think... I don't think Reese's game last week was an aberration. He's just not that good. That Green Bay defense is going to give him fits. And I think maybe the Pack can even find the running game against this banged-up defense. Finally, I'm going to take Dallas over Buffalo. Not a lot to say here. Buffalo's just overmatched. Trent Edwards should have a good game, but Dallas will win. And that's all I got. Bye.